Right, Shalom. First, I'd like to give all praises unto Yah, Ba'ashem, Yahweh and double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And honors to you, brothers out there in the highways and the byways, teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. And uh, just a quick update this is from the Mail Online. Okay, it says um, Russia orders all officials to fly home any relatives living abroad as tensions mount over the prospect of a global war. You know. Uh, Russian officials have been told to bring relatives home to the motherland. Failure to act will put promotion chances at risk, according to local reports. Which, basically, you can't have a high-ranking official in your army with close relatives in enemy lands. Because what, what will happen is, those um, relatives, um, if known to the secret services of that other country, they're going to kidnap them and torture them and send man a video and 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 the guy could flip basically um use them as leverage so that's that's one of the reasons they're doing that you know let's say let's say you're a high-ranking rough russian official and your son is um living in america well them american um boys go get your son and um put put the the, the cattle prod to his balls and basically tell you, you know, you better do this or do that. Otherwise, you know, we're going to send pieces of him back to you. You know what I'm saying? You're going get, to get the video evidence bit by bit. So that's why this is happening. It says, comes amid worsening relations between Russia and U.S. over Syria, which is not ultimately over Syria. Although Syria is one of those lines that have been drawn. Okay, this war has been brewing, brewing for decades. Um via um u.s nato aggression um uh, and imposing on russian territory right it's written behold the third world cometh quickly and guess what the prophets beginning with the apostles and elders have been warning you of this for a long time even when it didn't seem likely even when the news weren't popping day to day the, the prophets have been prophesying and you people took it for a joke and a lot of you people still take it for a joke but that's all right that's because the lord wants you to be caught up in it okay especially you israelites you israelites that ain't read don't really believe this or aren't concerned that's because the lord don't want you to believe or to be concerned because he don't want you to to, to repent he wants you to be destroyed because you ain't right all right the scripture says, knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we, we know only the elect are going to take heed. It says, you have to have faith. It says, U.S. Have, has pulled plug on Syria talks and accused Russia of hacking attacks. Russia has moved nuclear capable missiles nearer to the po Polish border. Um, it says, Russia is ordering all of its officials to fly home. Any relatives living abroad amid high tensions over the prospect of global war, which it is going to be a global war, it has been claimed. Okay, and you can read the rest of the article um, for yourself. So, okay, you can read the rest of the article for yourself. I just want to get the scripture, man, because, <laughs> hey, the, the, the boldness of the men of the Lord is going to be manifested, okay? And our faith is going to be justified, <laughs> okay? And all you people out there that were faithless are going to be left ashamed and confounded, man. And the time is at hand. All right, the time is at hand, man. But I'ma say this, man. Those of you out there listening, if you're an Israelite, hey, it's time to repent, man. Now is the time. This is Ezekiel 7 and 5. Thus saith the Lord God, and evil, and only evil, behold, is come, <laughs> and end is come. The end is come. It watcheth for thee, behold, it is come. Okay, there's, there, you see, the Lord has brought end to many things in the past. The Lord's going to bring an abrupt end to not only this so-called white man's power on earth, but ultimately this whole age. And there's going to be a new beginning with Yahweh Shai. But the end is going to come with fire and blood. And it's going to begin with that martial law and that World War Three, And it's going to end with the coming of our Lord and the destruction of America right this is Isaiah 47 and 11 it says therefore shall evil come upon thee and this is specifically this really goes this particular evil is going to come upon all these nations but really we're focusing on America therefore shall evil come upon 
Yet therefore shall evil come upon thee. Thou shalt not know from whence it rises. Because basically the majority of um people they right now really ain't considering this. They're they're too caught up in their own everyday lives. They're mainly caught up in entertainment. A lot of them are caught up in the elections and a lot of people are not really looking for the collapse of this society world war three and all-out death and destruction there are some people who may be paying attention but the majority of people are not especially in america they're totally lobotomized and um destroyed okay so when when world war three actually does come it is actually going to come as a shock to them when the martial law and the world war three the majority of people in america are going to be shot that's why the scripture says thou shalt not know from whence it rises and mischief shall fall upon thee thou shalt not be able to put it up because once this thing kicks into high gear there ain't gonna be no wait 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 what's going on here let's slow down no it's gonna be onward unto perdition and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly which thou shalt not know alright so with that you know check out the article shalom